Did you find something? You need to start worrying about yourself a little bit more here. Your wife is missing. You are in love with another woman. There's this unexplained phone call. I know. I know. I just... I can't explain why it says that. I didn't do anything to my wife. He is, of course, a suspect, you know, as I think anybody in Storybrooke could be a suspect for it. She believes in him fully, and so, and his innocence is so apparent to her no matter what happens to him, no matter how things might seem otherwise, she ultimately will always believe in him. And I'll stand with you. I'll tell everyone this isn't possible. She's going to turn up somewhere. Well, she doesn't notice at first. That's why we're out here, right? I'm lucky. Mary Margaret assumes that he's just looking for Catherine as she is. David? Because it's the first time that they've come together since their breakup. She's afraid to look at him, and when she finally does, she realizes that he's someone else. David! And that frightens her. David! Well, David finds himself in the, in the wake of Catherine's disappearance with a very disturbing discovery, which is that he's starting to have blackouts again and there is missing time that he can't account for. And he's actually starting to doubt his own innocence. David's in the woods. There's something wrong with him. He looked right through me. It's like, it's like he was a different person. He's walking around in a daze and a blackout, which is why when Catherine goes missing, he feels so guilty because he feels, I could have done this because I don't remember. There's this whole section of time that's missing. David, wake up. Ruby? Do you remember where you are? No, I... What the hell? I was... I was in your office. Did you bring me here? You don't remember anything since you were in my office last night? No. Did you find her? We found a box. There was a human heart inside it. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna send it out for some tests, but there aren't any other missing people. There's more. What? There were fingerprints inside the lid of the box. I ran them through the records of everyone in town, and there was a match. Arrest me. No. David? Arrest me, I'm gonna do it. David, the fingerprints weren't yours. They were Mary Margaret's. Emma, someone who's always been able to trust her instincts, and obviously that's gotten clouded a little bit as she's gotten more emotional while staying in Storybrooke. Please turn to the right. Emma, this is a mistake. I didn't kill Catherine. Of course you didn't. But while I am your friend, I am also the sheriff, and I have to go where the evidence leads. Which points to me? Emma. Yesterday, it was David. There's something not right here. I know, but your fingerprints are on that box, and his are not. Her instincts are telling her that there's no way these people would be capable of something so horrible. But the evidence is telling her something else, so she's kind of always stuck at a diff difficult spot. The test results came back on the heart, and the DNA was a match for Catherine. She's dead. Okay, I want you to go back in your memory. Back to the last time you and Catherine spoke. Last thing you remember. Tell me, where are you? So he goes to Archie as the, the town psychiatrist to try to help him search his psyche and find out what he's missing. You can't kill her. Really? Watch me. Don't do it. He has these flashbacks of fairy tale land, of who he is as charming and things that happen in fairy tale land. But when David wakes up from the hypnosis, he thinks it's happened in Storybrooke. He can't connect the two. You think you remember me wanting to kill Catherine? 
Can you explain why I have that memory? David? Are you asking me if I had something to do with Catherine's murder? His not having equal faith in Mary Margaret shatters her dreams that there is something otherworldly about their love, that there is a sense of meant to be, and if he doesn't have that same kind of faith in her, then that's not the kind of person that she can end up with. I stood by you. I never once doubted you. And now that everything is pointing to me, you actually think I am capable of that kind of evil? 